Beth, after extensive debate, the assembly passed an ordinance as amended with a vote of nine to three, ensuring its say on municipal resources, assets, and funding potentially going into the Aklutna hydroelectric project. With the passage of the ordinance on Wednesday comes a change in municipal code as the assembly aims to ensure their part in the 1991 Fish and Wildlife Agreement regarding the Aklutna hydroelectric project and review for parts that may need approval. Assembly Vice Chair Meg Zalatel says she believes that through the passage of the ordinance, the assembly is ensuring it has a role in the project, in part protecting municipal taxpayers. And we're the policymakers for the municipality, and we want to protect uh, the financial um, the financial picture of the municipality, and don't want other entities to be able to obligate us. Mayor Bronson's chief of staff, Mario Bird, disagreed with the ordinance, saying it would be an encroachment on the executive branch. We see this as about the latest in a series of encroachments upon the executive authority, and that's why the administration can't support it. A brief public hearing before the vote saw testimony for and against the passing of the ordinance. Rick Whitbeck, the Alaska State Director for Power the Future, was against the code changes and sided with the utilities. Stop putting 100 people in Clutha above the 275,000 other just Holly residents. Stop interjecting yourself in a process that you have no standing in. On the other hand, Dustin Laura, a tribal council member with the native village of Aklutna, believes the utility companies should mitigate what he says is the damage dams have already done and do what he says is right. It was diverted 94 years ago, and there was no compensation given in regard to the people that decided down there. Assembly Chair Chris Constant says he will continue to fight for a solution for all parties involved. We're going to fight as far as we need to until the parties understand that we're not going anywhere and we're willing to work with them to achieve this outcome. The Assembly also passed a resolution Wednesday authorizing a subpoena to get a bidding term sheet, a confidential document from the utilities involved in the agreement to see if the claims are truly confidential, whether or not the Assembly body is bound by them, and whether or not they can be disclosed. Neither representatives from Chugach Electric nor Matanuska Electric attended the meeting and the assembly says it wants to see the bidding term sheet from the utilities before the utilities submit a final program to the governor in April. But with this ordinance in place comes the concern for the timeline for the agreement being sent to the governor and will it be changed right now? That is unknown. Beth.